I figured you guys might want to check these out. So in front of us, man, let's welcome Trevor Lawrence times two, times two gold. You know, a beautiful card, you guys, very rare card. And there's only 10 of them, and we got two of them right here. And I want to give you guys a couple things to look for. You know, if, you've, if you're newer to sub, uh, you know, subbing cards or getting cards graded, or just maybe it's something you haven't, you know, done a lot. Even though a card is fresh out of the pack, it's oftentimes far from perfect. So we're going to do both of these. And uh, we'll do it in two parts, you guys, because each card has a couple different issues, okay? So we'll get to this one next. So up first, here's what I'm seeing on this one, you guys. The uh, There's some stuff here. This whole area should just be one color. I see lots of specks and spots. I mean, more like this side. You see how there's... It's just a little bit not as noisy. There's a lot of noise on that side, so I'm going to see if we can get any of that stuff to remove. Okay. Uh, I'm rude. I should introduce myself. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. You guys, thanks for watching. There's easy stuff, but it's things you can't dismiss, like fingerprints, guys. Fingerprints like that left on a surface. I mean, I don't know how it works. They Maybe a little bit can, can get past, but you, you don't want to leave anything like that on a card. Down here looks pretty good. Let's take a look back here. There's a corner ding right there. Little baby ding right there. All right, well, let's get busy. Let's start on the, uh, let's start on the back, you guys. When I have a card like this, it is like, looks really good and is dear, darn near perfect. Um, there's not a whole lot to do to it, but what I'm going to do is just work on these little areas I showed you. Let me get you a good view. And what I do is I start on the, um, I start on the edges and corners because it's a little bit easier to do like the quote unquote heavy lifting first. So I'm going to put the card face down, but notice I didn't put it just face down on the mat. I put a penny sleeve underneath it. Prism is really delicate. It can be tough. Uh, you know, it's like a, has a nice thick clear coat on it so you can work on it but anything that's like black or gold or just like one solid color it's easier to notice every little thing on it so just be careful and what I'm doing here you guys I'm using my corner tool just to gently gently go over the corner it just has a little ding on it and it doesn't look major, but I think it's noticeable enough for me. Let me... Still there, just a teeny bit. I'm trying to get a good light shot for you guys. Just a little bump right there. So I'm going to continue with that. And what I'm doing, you guys, is uh, I'm, I'm looking at the bump under the light off to the side of the camera. And it doesn't look like a heavy hit. It just looks like maybe it could have got maybe hit moving into a top loader, unfortunately, or bounced around, uh, you know, in the pack or something. I'm not sure. But when you see a little teeny bump in the corner like that, if you just massage it like this a few times, you'll be in the, you'll be going in the right direction. All right, I'm happy with this. Let me try to get you a better shot. It's just not... I'm looking for the light reflection. I know it's minor here, you guys, that I'm trying to show you. Let me zoom out for a second. It's kind of tight. I just want to go over it a few times and just get it, get it flat, all right? That one looks pretty good. See, there's like a natural texture to the back of a prism card already, so it can throw you off. So like, sometimes it can look like a corner is dinged, but it's really just part of the texture. So give it a real good look. I don't have to give this one at the top too long of a look because I can see it pretty easy. So let me get the light out for you guys. It's 
just just a small small ding but it was yeah so we had a a ding here and a ding here so i'm going to try to do the same thing here and just gently go over it a couple times and see if we can get that just to lay a little bit more flat just so you have a nice clean edge all the way across i'm barely pushing guys too if like uh if you haven't worked on a corner like this on a card before i'm i'm really just letting the the vinyl tubing gently roll uh just just kind of go across the edge to the corner i'm not pushing I, i'm not pushing on the corner i'm not pushing the corner into the mat i get over here and i just gently pick up i go slow and then pick up because if i pushed hard you guys i'd bend this corner forward into this mat so i'm just using it real gentle because these are not heavy dings if you guys have watched me work on some major dings before you'll see me get Remove all the mats, go right to the glass table, you know, give it a little bit more pressure. These, fortunately, are not not like that. Bear with me, guys. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, if I can be. All right. So I like this corner more. That one looks better. And... So does that one. Now I noticed when I was working on those that we got some some sort of residue. They're like right above the M in prism. It looks like it's on the surface, so I'm hoping I can get that off. So let's just start back here. The edges overall look good, you guys, so I'm not going to, like, run my corner tool down the edges just to just to do it. That doesn't make any sense. Just, just work on the areas that you need to work on. So, since I see this smear back here, I'm going to use a little bit of my card spray, you guys, on a cotton circle. Always use 100% cotton. It's the safest material. And if you ever need any links or anywhere to get it you guys hit me up anytime i'll i'll send you my amazon links usually when you can tell that something's on the surface you can usually get it off with the card spray so you just Go in there, wipe the trouble area, and it dries clean and quick. So good news. I'm happy about that. Look at that. No more sticky dried on thing above that. It's so easy to miss, you guys. It's so easy to miss. That's why I use this little light to like run over everything. And I'm sure that'd be like a point off or whatever. So... The back is looking good, <clears throat> and fortunately it doesn't have a bunch of those print lines that you'll see on a ton of prism cards. This one got lucky. They weren't, weren't heavy on this one. So let's flip it over to the front, though. This is uh, the focal piece, of course, man, so we got to do a good job on this. And I'm just seeing, like I said, this really, uh, that's, it's almost like that stuff that was on the back. And then there's just some noise on there. So since I know that I'm going to need to shine the front of this card up, you guys, I'm just going to skip right to my card polish for this. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to put panty sleeve over Trevor's autograph. And on the back, you guys, when you saw me working on the um, <clears throat> that those edges and that little corner when I wiped it, always stay away from the print run number two. So, as when you're using the polish, you just use an applicator. Let's get a little bit on. Enough to where it, it slides on the, the card surface easy. You don't want to feel any friction. You just want to have a nice, smooth, 
application, okay? So let me get you guys a good shot here. There's a print line going up here and there's a dirty side over here. So I'm just gonna work quick on this one. Safely, but quick, you know, but it's a really nice card and happy I can get it looking a little bit better because like I said, right at the opening of this video, you guys, there's, you think that you get a card, you know, brand new, should be darn near perfect. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. And when I remove my polish here, I just go right towards the edge, pull it, remove it all at once. I'm getting some progress here, guys, with that gunk in the corner. See that gunk on the edge? It was pretty thick on there, so I'm just going to stay with the process here and put a little bit more of the, the polish in the open foil area and then this gold edge and hopefully we can get all that off. Hell yeah, man. Check it out. That crap is gone. And you see how much more nicer that area looks? Now, guys, I'm going to get towards the middle of the card. Let's we'll see if we can get that, like, streaky line going through it on Trevor a little bit. Hopefully reduce it a little bit or get it out of there. And if you guys are watching and there's some of my regulars, man, thank you guys for sending me all the really awesome pictures this week. I couldn't even... You can only post 10 pictures at a post on Instagram, I found out. And I was trying to show off everybody's grading submissions and great results and everything and you guys filled it up man so congratulations to all of you guys and I applaud you for taking the time and practicing and just doing these little minor things to help you guys get the best out of the card I look at these as little pieces of art you know and just little pieces of American history so I think it's awesome when you can take a few minutes and make them look their absolute best I'm always rotating too, you guys. When you see me move my hand off the screen, I'm rotating the microfiber because I don't want to remove and apply stuff at the same time. This one's working with me a bit. Check it out. Surface looks sweet. There are little kind of little specky things over here, guys, but I think that's it's hard to find a prism card without it. That line going down Trevor's faintly there. I can still see it a little bit. If you guys are cool, hang with me for a second. I'm going to try it again. Some of these, you know, little runners on the surface are so light that when you put the polish on them, it will cling to it and just pull them up, pull them off a little bit. If they're too deep into the card, that sucks. It just happens. But these little light ones, you can... Don't ever uh, forget, always apply the polish to any little surface lines you see or anything. A lot of times you'll surprise yourself and get some really good results. Definitely help. It's a good looking card, man. Woo wee All right, so let's get to the finishing touches on this one. There's just, I can see some stuff at the bottom. You guys see that little line going through there? It might be permanent. I'm a little worried about that right there. But if that's the only, uh, may, you know, issue that we are left with, I'd say this one is looking pretty damn good. So I'm just going to do the same approach, guys. Cover up Trevor's autograph. 
Let's just be conservative and not do the whole th bottom here. Let's just do a little bit at a time. And always make the card comfortable for you. That's why I work on a card mat, because I like to move it around. So now I'm going to remove this from north to south. I want to feel something, just as I suspected. All right, let me show you guys something. So look how nice we got that area clean, right? See that line in there? It's not on the surface of the card. Let me show you guys something. It's, see how the light goes over the card like glass? It's a little line in the foil underneath the, underneath the clear coat. So I hope it doesn't you know hurt the surface grading because it's not... It's something I can't, it's it's unaccessible is what I'm trying to say, okay? So don't be just sitting there rubbing on something like that forever, you guys. When it's under the clear coat like that, you won't be able to get to it. And what's comfortable for me? This angle is comfortable. So we're going to just finish up the front. And I got to tell you guys, no matter, it doesn't have to be a, Trevor Lawrence rookie auto gold to have fun cleaning up a prism. They're, they're fun cars to clean up. They shine up really nice. They look beautiful. Um, they get dirty quick and they kind of get, they kind of tarnish like silverware, I'd say. After a while, they just kind of lose their luster. So the polish brings out the best in them. And this is one of the best ones there is. So it's only proper to do it. So that is uh, the T Law gold number one we're gonna come back and do number two so hang with me guys this one has some more issues that i'm gonna have to address so there's the first one thanks for joining use these tips to clean up your prisms and uh i'm here anytime you guys have questions thanks for watching i'm kurt with kurt's card gear